Hi guys, hope you all are having a great day so far, depending on when you're watching this video. So today here we have rain in our forecast for the next couple of days. So any projects that I wanted to get done outside in the garden, they're gonna have to wait. But I did find tortilla chips in the kitchen. So I thought, you know what? Today is a great day to show you guys how to make my guacamole recipe and it's so simple to make and it's so flavorful. I like it on the crunchy side. I do like my guacamole with a little texture. So I like to add a little bit of raw onion and diced tomato in it. And I like it on the spicy side. So I add an entire jalapeno pepper. The beauty of this recipe though, is that if you don't like the texture of like onion or you like your guacamole more on the creamy side, you can leave the onion out. Or if you don't like it spicy, you can leave the jalapeno out. It's totally customizable to your uh, flavor or your liking. So let's prep our ingredients and I will show you how to assemble it. First, you'll wanna slice your avocado, then remove the pit, and then using a spoon, scoop out the flesh of the avocado and put it into a bowl. Next, you'll want to dice about a quarter cup of raw red onion. And set that aside. I'm going to slice about a third cup of tomato. I think that's enough, that looks good. And just set that over to the side. Next, I'm going to dice the jalapeno. And I am going to include the seeds in this because I do like it spicy. But if you want a little bit of heat, I would recommend uh, taking the seeds out because that's where a lot of the heat is. And I'm just gonna cut these lengthwise like match sticks. And be careful because I have had where sometimes when I'm dicing these, a little bit of the juice sometimes squirts out and it has hit me in the eye before and trust me, it's not fun. Okay, and we're just gonna set that aside and we're gonna use the juice of one lime. My ingredients are all prepared. I've sliced and pitted the avocados and scooped them out. I've minced some red onion, tomato, and jalapeno. I have one lime sliced and we're ready to assemble. So in a bowl, add your avocado and the juice of one lime. And then I like to use a knife and a fork to cut the avocado into large slices and then rotate the bowl and cut them in the other direction. And then I just rotate the bowl and just keep slicing because it makes it a lot easier then just using uh, the back of your fork to smash everything up. And depending on how creamy or chunky you like it, uh, if you like it really creamy, you're just gonna mash this to its desired consistency for you. I like it a little bit chunky.
Now I'm going to use the back of the fork and just kind of smash some of the avocado pieces. And this is the consistency that I like it. Next, you want to add your onion, tomato, and jalapeno. And mix it all in. Season with salt to taste to your liking. Give it another stir. Give it a taste test. Tiny bit more salt. Clean spoon. Mm. So good. Creamy, crunchy. Jalapeno gives it a nice bit of heat to it. And it's ready. Let me show you how I like to serve it up. Okay. I've got a big platter here and a little platter right in the middle of it. I'm gonna use my spatula because I wanna get every last drop. And I'm going to just spread it in here. Then take my chips and just spread them all around. in the platter, not everywhere else. I've got the ones though that are like scoops. And here it is, my guacamole. It's creamy, it's got texture to it. It's got a little bit of heat from the jalapeno and crunch from the raw onion. It's so good. I can't wait for you guys to try this. I like to take this and spread it over toast, kind of like avocado toast, but guacamole toast. Um, little tip, uh, when you put it in the refrigerator, put it in an airtight container and squirt a little bit of lime juice over the top layer. That'll help keep it from turning brown and dingy, and it'll help keep it that bright uh, green color, which to me is more appetizing. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I can't wait to hear your thoughts on this recipe. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.